What's the difference between artificial intelligence and machine learning? When I work with clients, they quite often ask me, what's the difference between artificial intelligence and machine learning? Lots of people seem to use these terms interchangeably, and actually, they're not quite the same. Artificial intelligence is basically the umbrella term, and within it, we have machine learning, which is a subset of AI, artificial intelligence. It's basically the leading edge of artificial intelligence. Both of those concepts are now quite old. They were developed in the 1950s. The thing is, with machine learning, it was probably ahead of its time. And what we had is we had traditional artificial intelligence tools, which basically meant we had expert systems where we had to tell computers exactly the rules of how to analyze data, what data to use and what results to spit out. So we had expert systems that worked sometimes quite well, but we have this typical problem of computer says no, it just didn't work, it didn't know the answer. So for me a great example is natural language or language translations. So if we try to design a rule-based artificial intelligence program to translate from English into Chinese, this doesn't work and we've seen this in the past that these things didn't really work that well because there are so many exceptions to our human language and to program all these exceptions into this algorithm is almost impossible. Going back to the 1950s, someone then thought actually instead of telling the computer all the rules, why don't we give the computer lots of data so the computer can make up the rules by itself. And this is what we are referring to as machine learning, where the machine learns from data and this is a bit like how we learn by ourselves. Our, this basically simulates the brain or it copies the process that we, we as humans use to learn and, and, and be intelligent. So in our head, we have a brain and this has trillions of neurons. And these neurons are all connected. And when we learn something, so you might learn how to grab something and as a, or how to speak a language and as a child it takes quite a long time to do this and we go through lots of trial and error so we learn by experience and how do I grab this um, toy for example and then as a baby lots of things don't quite work and then suddenly you think oh this worked and then your neurons make connections you say sending these signals to these muscles really worked in the same way when you pick up a language your parents and your teachers will correct you and over time you will learn how to speak a language. You can't really learn this by rules, you learn this by experience. The challenge is that learning a language or grabbing a toy or cycling on a bike are things we can't actually explain. They are what we call tacit knowledge. We have explicit knowledge that we can write down on a piece of paper, I can write down, this is how you operate a camera, give this to you, you can read this and then operate the camera. I can't do this with, this is how you swim, this is how you cycle, this is how you speak English, because this is something we have learned through experience. And this is exactly what machines are able now to do. We give them data and they learn from this data. So initially we had tools that could recognize characters. And we, we all write handwritten characters differently, so it's very hard to write rules for this. But we can give a machine a million or billion versions of how someone writes an O and an A and, and a, a T or whatever. And then the machine learning algorithm will say, okay, I now build my own system and identify how probable this, that this, this is an O or an A. So this is again not brand new. Since the 1960s, in 1965 I think, the, the US Postal Service implemented its first handwriting scanner in their Detroit post office. 
that is able to read someone's address on a letter, handwritten letters, and this helped them to improve things. What we now have is we have machine learning capabilities. Why do we have them today? Two things have changed. We now have more data because we are now living in the big data world where we have lots of sensors, everything is digital, so we have huge volumes of data and we have the processing power. So our chips are getting better and we have things like cloud computing that gives every device access to huge computing, um, the ability to store huge volumes of data and analyze them. And this has now made machine learning possible. So instead of saying, this is how you translate from English into Chinese, you simply give the machines billions of words and text translated from Chinese into English, and then the machines will write their own algorithms to be able to do this. And this is basically the leading edge of artificial intelligence. It now enables machines to learn to walk, to learn to write. We now have tools like natural language um, and voice recognition tools like Alexa that can pick up our language whether we are speaking with a Scottish accent or an American accent and this is all made possible by machines learning and improving by themselves. Hopefully this has given you a better understanding of what the difference is between artificial intelligence which is the rule-based overarching concept of AI and the more specific leading edge application of machine learning, the abilities of machine to learn from data a bit like we learn from experience. Check out my other videos on YouTube or head to my website at bernardmar.com where you can find lots more articles and white papers on this topic.